All right, I am Jessica Weaver, wealth advisor, best-selling author, and financial blogger, and I am so excited because we have Cassie on with us, who has quite a story. She also has a book coming out that we are going to dive into today. So, Cassie, can you tell us a little bit about your background and as much of your story that you'd like to share with us today? So, my name is Cassie Sammons. I am I'm an addict. Um, I've been clean since June 9th, 2010. Um, so I am, yeah, it's been about 10 years. Um, you know, when I first got clean, I never thought that, that I would, I would make it this long because addiction is a, is a hard thing to overcome. Um, it's, it's one of those things that's, you know, it's not just your mind, it's your spirit and everything else that's affected. Um, your spiritual well-being is affected. Everything is. Um, so I've been clean 10 years and now I am a top producing real estate agent in the Dallas, Fort Worth metro area. Um, my office is in a little country town just in Texas. Um, we moved here four years ago and we love it here. Um, I'm very grateful for where I am today because it hasn't always been this easy. I've come to realize that I feel like with money you can buy stuff or you can buy time and everyone gets to that point where they've had enough stuff. They bought enough stuff, they have enough, they're inundated with it and now you're valuing your time a lot more. And we'll go into this because I know we've had discussions about how you want to keep growing your business and empire, but having more time for your family. Yeah. And I see the same thing with women coming up to retirement, right? They have enough stuff, they made enough money, now they're valuing their time left here on this earth and they want to enjoy it. They want to enjoy their health, their family, travel, yeah. all those different things. So it sounds like you've started to make that transition from stuff to prioritizing time. But you know, I'm grateful for all my struggles because I think it made me the strong person that I am today. I could see that having kind of a, a new scenery, new place, far away, so you have that break. As you, like you said, you found new or found deeper bonds with your children. You found yourself again. You got to pay more attention to your kids, to you, to God, your faith, and then being able to come back in a much better mental state. I'm guessing. Yeah. As well. And is that kind of when you started to dabble in the real estate? No, I'd always had my real estate license. I got my license when I was 24. Um, but when we moved back to Texas, I, um, I started actually, so we had, we moved back and then, um, in 2000 and let me think 2016, we moved back. Um, so I had my real estate license. I, I needed to renew it. Um, so I renewed it. I actually got it back on, cause I had to go through a whole process of renewing it. I'm a felon. So they want to know what my charges were, what I did, um, how I had changed. So I had to go through a grueling year of trying to renew this license. I remember sitting in front of my computer for like four months straight crying just crying because I didn't have any deals going on. I wasn't making any money. I was like, how am I, how are we ever gonna make it? Like, we're definitely gonna fail. Um, and I remember my husband every day, he would say, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing it. It's all gonna turn around. We're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna work out how it's supposed to. So, and I would just sit there and cry. Like, I didn't want my kids to hear me, so I would just sit there and make phone calls and just tears streaming. I was gonna ask you what's one thing that you wish you had known, but maybe that's it, that you can mess up, you can mess up big, but you can come back from it. Do you think that's it? That's it, that's definitely it. That's the underlining thing, yeah. Yeah, because if I had known, okay, I can go talk to my parents about these mistakes that I've made, then I don't think I would have made so many mistakes. Wow but I didn't have that open relationship with them to talk about everything. Amazing. Thank you so much, Cassie. This has been so much fun.
Thank you.